Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to take down the Bloodhound Knight boss in the Crystal Cave. So, this boss is not that difficult. Chances are you might have fought this exact enemy once or twice before. There is one of them in an Everjail uh, in the Weeping Peninsula that you may have fought, and then another one shows up in another area uh, somewhat nearby. So, this boss can be parried, however I am terrible at it. The main thing you want to watch out for is the bleed. This is very easy to lose track of, and once you uh, get that meter filled, you're going to take a ton of extra damage, so you do want to be very careful. I don't know if this boss can be backstabbed. I have tried several times and have been in positions where it felt like it should have worked, but I think because the boss is on all fours, backstabs just don't work. I mean, right there, I feel like that was like perfect backstab range or whatever, but it just didn't happen. So. What you want to watch out for is that the boss moves around very quickly, as you can see, and then its movements are somewhat erratic. With respect to its charging move, it has a few options there. If you notice that it puts its left hand in the ground, it will drag it towards you and then do sort of like an upswing with the claw, and then it will slam down with the sword in its right hand. So you do want to watch out for that. The other thing that can happen is that it can just drag the sword itself and then it won't uh, even use the claw. You just gotta look out for which hand is actually in the ground. The other thing too, is that the boss has sort of like a shadow step or a teleport almost. And when it does this, it is invisible. However, it can still be hit, but chances are it's gonna attack immediately. So you're probably just gonna take a bunch of damage when you should have just waited for an opening. But that's it, that's the Bloodhound Knight. And it's not too difficult considering you probably did this once before at least. For your troubles, you get the Cerulean Amber Medallion, and then you can move on and complete what you're here for. But that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.